Today I'm with Ben, concrete superintendent for DePadco. So tell me about yourself. So I've been in the construction industry for about 18 years. Um, I've got a degree in mechanical engineering, but I got talked into staying in construction. There's a lot of opportunity there. Been working a lot of vertical construction, but five years ago I got into the civil heavy highway construction. I worked as a project superintendent for a couple years, and then DePatco had an opportunity for their concrete division. They asked me to be the superintendent over their concrete division, so I was thrown onto slip form paver and said, take it over and get going. We've kind of had to build our concrete division over the last couple years, almost from scratch but it's been really good and we're excited now to be partnered with RDO and moving yeah. forward. We're excited too. So you have an SP15 just like the one we're standing next. This is a brand new one, obviously. Yeah, this is a brand new one. There's a few changes on this one that have kind of come about through a lot of customer input. We've been running one just like this for about three years now. So what are some of the changes that you had, you had input on? Uh, one of the changes right here in the catwalk. So the catwalk used to stop right here and the guys that are running the machine, they're running the vibrators up there but they're constantly looking down at the concrete to see what it looks like coming out so they can adjust their vibrators. It was hard because they were always looking over the edge and leaning forward and now they've extended the catwalk so they can just walk out and look straight down and see it without having to lean over the edge. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so that was a that was kind of a comfort thing that they did mm -hmm. for the guys, which is really good. And that's one thing that we've really liked about working is, I mean, we got thrown onto the machine brand new. The only asset that I had was phone numbers to people in Tennessee. Yeah. I started calling those people and they did everything they could to help us out teach us how to do it over the phone, troubleshooting any problems that we had with it, giving us pointers on how to make things work a little better. So the service, even from a distance, has been very, very good. Good. With RDO coming on board, that service is gonna get a lot closer to us. But the machine itself has been awesome. One of the things that we've dealt with is with these trimmers here is the grounds wasn't prepped right out in front of it. Yep. You started trimming a lot of material and it would build up and it would actually stop the machine because it's just the weight of the machine wasn't designed to go trim through a lot of material. But one thing they did to mitigate that was they sold us a bigger machine. <laughs> oh, let's go look at that machine then. But <laughs> this one's been great though. I mean, it hasn't had any problems. They talked us into one of these machines. So right. it's not gonna be set up like this. This is set up for inset paving, Yep. Uh, but ours will be just offset paving. One of the main things that drove us getting a bigger machine was the volume of work in our area has really increased but also there's a big push to do curb and gutter and sidewalk monolithically. Yeah. And the, the 15 won't do the sidewalk and curb monolithically. Okay, so, so the, this one will? The 25 will. We just gotta get the right mold for it and then this thing will be able to handle it. But we went over to Boise and watched this thing extrude some 12 foot sidewalk, which was pretty cool. We're looking to expand pretty aggressively in East Idaho. So we wanna have the capability to grow and be able to meet the market demands. And so there's airports that are gonna be built the highways, they haven't really started putting a lot of concrete highway yet. They've tried it, but up in that area with the freeze thaw, it just doesn't hold up as good as asphalt. Yeah. But uh, the airports and stuff, they still lay down concrete. We've got a lot of volume of project out in front of us that I think will help I'll let this thing eat up a lot of concrete. We're excited to get it. So Ben, you talked a little bit about the service you have been getting. What are your expectations of service from a dealer and a manufacturer? We've had the good long distance service on the phones and stuff. We've been able to go over to work and do some training. One thing we've really struggled with is once that machine goes down, there isn't anybody in the area that carries parts or that really knows anything about it. So we're really excited about having knowledgeable people come over that if something does go down, they can come and help us out. So that's what we're excited about is the, the close service ability of the machine. We appreciate the business and we really, really hope the support just keeps getting better and better for you. Yeah, I think it will. All right. Thank for you very sure. much. Thank you. All right. Hey, I'm Dennis Howard. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe and follow us on social media. See you soon. Today I'm with, with Ben, concrete super... If the ground is not so good we broke the camera, <laughs> or so bad maybe. Yeah. yeah, I got bloopers that aren't my fault. Yeah. <laughs>